Welcome to our Biosciences Teaching Labs. I'm Caitlin, a first year life science student. My name is Denise. I'm a recent graduate in Biomedical Sciences and a first year PhD student here at Brunel. Today we will be doing some experiments, but before that we need to put our lab coat on because we'll be using harsh chemicals to protect our skin and our clothes. Before we start our experiment, we have to wear safety gloves to protect our skin. And now we're ready. This is geoelectrophoresis, a technique that we use to quantify and visualize DNA. Denise will pipette a aliquot of DNA and dye into the gel so we can see it under electrical currents. Then we connect the electrodes. And we're ready to run the gel electrophoresis. So now that the gel electrophoresis is running, uh, the DNA will migrate through the field and separate based on size. The bubbles are created through the electrical current going through our buffer, which will allow the DNA to migrate from a negative side to a positive side on the gel. Another technique we use in the lab is microscopy. Here we're using it to look at a specimen, a mouse colon, under the microscope. You place it under the lens and you can see a much greater magnification than the naked eye. We use microscopes to look at the different parts of organs and so we can see different landmarks within the slides. Hi, I'm Amber, I'm a second year journalism student and I'm here with Caitlin and Denise and I'm going to be asking them a few questions. So what made you decide to choose your course? I knew I liked science and biology in general, but I wanted something that was more focused on human health and diseases. And I think biomedical sciences gave me the opportunity to go into biology, but focus on humans. I chose life science because it was different from biomed and it was a completely new course, but still had the amazing lab skills and lab facilities that have you seen in this video. So while you've been here, what's been your most favorite project that you've been a part of? I think my best project must have been my final year dissertation. Um, I was on also on placement the year before, so my dissertation was you know, going really in depth about the concept I learned during the placement. It was very challenging because I did a lot of work for it, um, especially in the lab, but at the end it really paid off. Recently I've submitted a poster about ecology which focused on endangered species in environmental science, and that was very useful because it was a brand new technique which is very useful in scientific knowledge. So Denise, you've been on placement, tell us more about that. Yes, I was a laboratory research assistant here at Brunel um, in leukemia and chromosome research. So I was actually part of a research group that deals with this disease and I was able to really put hands on in real life, real projects. And I learned a lot about uh, laboratory skills, but also writing scientific papers. And I went to a lot of conferences as well. So what are your future plans after you finish your degree? Like Denise, I want to do a placement year between my second and third and then hopefully go into lab research and scientific writing. What single piece of advice would you give future students? I would say get involved in as many activities as you can. You know, there's a lot out there. There are a lot of um, jobs and societies and volunteering opportunities. So really make the most out of your degree, not only during the course, but you know, in your free time as well. What would you say? Find something you really like, something you're passionate about, because it doesn't come work, it doesn't come revising. It's more something you want to do, and it'll make your degree a lot quicker and a lot easier. Thank you, Denise and Caitlin. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you soon.